going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. So glad you joined us today. If you were just clicking through the channel where God's View TV shows, we do our best to bring you God's view, not our opinion. And we teach and preach on the word and on subjects. And today it's mockery. So hopefully you will stay with us and it's just be blessed, be blessed. The Holy Spirit's doing great things through the program. Remember to call our prayer lines while we're going through the show, 307-637-7729. I almost gave my cell number. Yeah. 307, that 637 pray 7729. Almost, I did, I almost, and I just stopped. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I was like, what? Because yeah. I'm so used to yes. giving my, yeah. So, anyways, we're so glad you joined us. I'm Charlene Back to Marion, your God's View host. Again, welcome. Yes. This is Stephanie Besh. We have Priscilla Pruitt and Lana Gardner. We're so glad. You know, we're talking about a real serious subject today mockery. And uh, I'll tell you, God will not be mocked. Mm -hmm. And I'll probably go into a little bit of that, but I'm going to let the girls loose for a minute. But I just want to say this. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's loose. Be loose. Yes. <laughs> you know, here's the deal. I was, I was in, uh, well, first I was in front of this person. Then I was in back of her. Because mockery is anything that you, you know, if you start putting everything on you, you're mocking God. And if, you know, you diminish who he is, diminish his power, diminish his glory, you know, and just in denial. And not even, you know, I, and I'm not saying not knowing it, but in this person obviously was lost. Um, I had to have been. And if she was a Christian, I'm, I'm like, oh, my God. But anyways, this is what said on her T-shirt. Worship me, and we will get along just fine. Wow. And it had a picture of a woman with a crown on her head. Oops. And what do people see yeah. first when you wear something like that? Mm -hmm. You know, are you kidding me? Worship me, and we'll get along just fine. Mm. No, worship Jesus, and everybody will get along yeah. just fine. Wow. And that was total, total, total mockery of who God is mm -hmm. because she does not wear a crown. You know, all of our crowns, one day we will throw at his feet. Amen. You know, things that we have done for the kingdom, and that's a wonderful thing, but we don't do it just to get another mm -hmm. crown. And we don't mock God by diminishing who he is. And so I'm just, I'm gonna, I just wanted to open with that yeah. because, I mean, it just, it just shook me to the core. Mm -hmm. I'm like, who does that? Who wears right. stuff like right. that? Right. You know, but... People do, and there are mm -hmm. lost people in the world. That doesn't shock me. Some of them say some <laughs> really right. vulgar things. Right. And, you know, I mean, I've heard it all. I mean, pfft, I mean, I was raised in Detroit. I've heard every word there is. <laughs> but, you know, the thing mm -hmm. is, is for somebody to put that just so blatantly on their, you know, worship right. me and we'll be just fine. You know, they really have pride problems. They have, because it's not cute. That's not cute. Even the right. Bible says, no coarse Ooh. joking. No, you right. know, like you say, oh, I'm not, and that's just a joke. Mm -hmm. You know, and you've said something to really hurt somebody mm. or diminish who God is. Right. Because when you coarse joke, you're, you're causing them to feel lesser than. You're mocking God and his creation. Right. You right. Good. What right. about mm -hmm. people that say, I climb my way all the way to the top. You know, mm -hmm. I work so hard, and that's why I'm here. Yeah. They don't know that every breath, their very breath, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. belongs to God. Mm -hmm. and he, he loved them enough to give them the desires of, of their, their hearts. hearts. Right. And mm -hmm. then they, they steal from him, really. Yeah. They're stealing yeah. mm -hmm. from God. Yeah. Well, and, and, oh, go ahead. Are you, mocking is, um, actually, it's making fun of God. It's, it's almost like spin, it's spinning mm -hmm. in his face. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a hatred towards what is right and yep. righteous and holy. And um, in Isaiah 28, 22, it says, Now stop your mocking, or your chains will become heavier. The Lord, the Lord Almighty, has told me of the destruction decreed against the whole land. And mocking has a cruel spirit. It does. It is a spirit of cruelty, and it's, yeah. it's derisive. And um, the word says, Do not rebu rebuke a mocker, or he will hate you. Yeah. But the, the Lord, you know, you rebuke Satan, yeah. you know, and, and you can speak to somebody. But it says when you rebuke them, when you um, 
tell them they'll hate you but that's that spirit acting up it's yeah. responding to what it actually is yeah. you know and it says that you can't persuade or reason with a mocker um, to turn them away from mockery and another sign of mocking God is confessing sin without repentance. Yes. Do you know that's also yes. mocking God? Wow. We never think never of that. that. No. But it is when a person mm -hmm. confesses their sin, they profess to be sorry um, that they ever committed sin. And when, when they do that without um, the true confession, it is mocking God. It's saying what you did for me on the cross doesn't count. And, yeah. and that's okay. Yep. And then mm -hmm. down in... Um, Jude 1 through 17 and 18, it says, But dear friends, remember what yes. the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last times, I feel like we're living in the we last are. times, there will be scoffers or mockers, mockers. who will follow yeah. their Ooh, own ungodly yeah. desires. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you just too. read so what somebody had on a shirt. And yes. that's exactly what that's talking yes. about. You start following your own desires, but they're ungodly. And you're just mm -hmm. saying, sorry, God. And mm -hmm. anything that stands for you, I'm in your face. And, yep. you know, I remember many years ago, there was a situation going on in my life and somebody was my authority, but they were not nice to me. Mm -hmm. And I had a dream. I said, Lord, I, I want to have a repentant heart. I want mm -hmm. to honor, but show me mm -hmm. what to do about this. What am I dealing with? And I had a dream that I was working in a place and it was a desert. Mm -hmm. And David came to help me and they drove by and they laughed at me but mm -hmm. didn't know that I could see them. And when they did, what I heard is God said, I will not be mocked. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because, yep. yeah, yep. Praise God. I know, yep. and I've never forgot Ooh. that, but it, and it checks my heart, you know, it wants, but also you understand what you're dealing with. You, they Lots think that they're, creation. they're doing yep. this in secret, but they're not. God sees no. and it mm -hmm. hurts his heart. And yeah. He will not you know? let his beloved, yeah. you, be mocked. Yeah. He will exactly. not. Yeah. I love that you used Jude 117 through 18, because I had that too. Mm. And the truth of the matter is the majority of those who mock don't have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And mm -hmm. though some, mm -hmm. or many of them, mm -hmm. believe that they do, it's impossible for them to have the yeah. Holy Spirit and truly yeah. mock because that's not the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. let's start with the definition of, uh, definition of mockery. It means to deceive, to delude, mm -hmm. or to disappoint. And then mm -hmm. it's also a noun. It says a counterfeit, an imitation, a sham, mm -hmm. or fake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so synonyms for mockery are also to cheat, to dupe, to fool, or to mislead. And so the spirit of mockery, mockery taunts and ridicules God's work in your life. It can mm. also mock mm -hmm. you. It comes in and it makes fun of your God-given gifts and your identity and your mm. purpose. And he limits you and what you're able to do. Did God really give you that gift? Are you really that good at it? Are you really anointed in that? It mocks you to make mm, you feel like you, you are feel less, than, less yeah. than, yes. Yep, yep. And so yep. God says in Romans 8, 37, that you are more than enough and that you are more than a conqueror. So you mm -hmm. fight it with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And Philippians 4, 13 says, God called you worthy and mm -hmm. you can do all things through Christ who strengthens mm -hmm. you. Yes. Ephesians 1, 5 says, you are not rejected, but adopted into the family of God's son. You're a God's son. Right. You're, you're adopted. Mm -hmm. So why believe anything other than what God speaks about you? And so these demons of mockery are common thieves, like it says in John 10:10, mm -hmm. 10, 10, that come to steal, kill, and destroy. They remind you of your past, of your failures, of your uh, things that you're not good mm -hmm. at, things mm -hmm. that you've messed yep, up, right? In, um, just in hopes to abort your future. Yep, and so yeah. none of us are immune to hearing these demons. Yeah. All of us up here have dealt yeah. with it. None of us mm -hmm. are immune to it. But knowing that truth, the word, like I gave you those scriptures, mm -hmm. that's what keeps you from that's listening right. to those demons yes. and listening to their lies and, and allowing them to have any kind of credence over your, your life or your family or your situation or your job yes. or your home. The only way, though, is to fight is to do exactly what Jesus did when Satan came to tempt him. He mm. spoke what the Father said about him. Mm -hmm. So remind the enemy when he comes to you. Remind him what God yes, says. That's right. God that the says. God of the entire universe created you. That he calls you chosen. That's right. That he calls you his child. That he says his banner over you is love. Yeah. That he calls you kings and priests. He calls you a saint. He calls you justified. He yeah. says that you are redeemed. Amen. He calls you a friend and heir. A um, mm -hmm. forgiven his workmanship. Um, a citizen of heaven. And so anything that speaks anything opposite of those things obviously it's not God. Mm -hmm. And so just ask, Holy Spirit, what do I do about this? What what entry point yeah. has allowed this mockery spirit to speak to me? Repent of those things. Like yeah. Maybe you've yeah. agreed with something mm -hmm. 
Maybe you've agreed with mm -hmm. a lie and gives it and it gives it authority to come in and keep taunting you, mocking mm -hmm. you, yeah. mm -hmm. and repent for agreeing with that lie and rebuke it, and it's done. Because yeah. you can't go on and do the you call can't. of God. No. Everything you said was just, mm -hmm. just. Um, uh, representing what happened to Nehemiah in the Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah, God yes. called him to rebuild the mm -hmm. ancient That's, ruins, mm. the wall. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, as he was building the wall, Sanballat and Tobiah would come by and mock him every yeah. day yes. and say, That's it's right. not going to happen. They would mock the things of God mm. and said, even if a fox walked on that wall, it would fall. I mean, yep. they mocked the things mm -hmm. of God. And But guess what? Hey, Nehemiah didn't <laughs> stop. No. Nehemiah, they Praise fought God. with, they, yes. some had spears in one hand, prayer, people were praying, and they kept marching forward because God will not be marked, mocked. And it was built. And, you know, in Proverbs 19, 28, it says a corrupt witness. Mm. First of all, let me tell you this. We are witnesses on this earth for the gospel of Jesus Christ and for heaven. And we want to be careful of mockery to God, everything that we've been talking about. It says a corrupt witness mocks justice and the wicked person feeds on iniquity. Condemnation is appropriate for mockers just as beatings are for the backs of wow. fools. Now, you know, we'll talk about condemnation in a second, but confessing sin without repentance is also mocking God. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, this, so because, good. I wrote yeah. that down. Yeah. And, and the mm -hmm. thing is, is this is, I mean, this is That's a serious so thing. Yeah. And, I've, and the girls have heard me say this many times. I've said it from um, pulpits because I want people to know that, you know, the, the Bible says there is now Therefore, no condemnation for those yeah. who are in Christ Jesus. And how the devil starts to mock the things of God and gets you to be against you is with condemnation. Right. You fall prey and say, I'm not good enough mm -hmm. to build this wall. Mm -hmm. I'm not good enough. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're not speaking what Priscilla said. You know, you're justified. You're redeemed. You're these mm -hmm. things. You start caving into that and you feel lesser than. And you feel like you can't live up to. And when this happens, it's a spirit of condemnation mocking you. Right. They come and they join ranks. And what happens is when they come into a city to condemn a building, it's because it's unfit for use. And if the enemy can come in and make you feel and mock what God has called you yep. on this earth and make you feel lesser than unfit for use, then, hey, he's won. Mm -hmm. But you've got to rise up today. And you've got to say no in Jesus' name. You will not mock what heaven That's has right. predestined, mm -hmm. ordained, and called me to do. Mm -hmm. I will finish this race. I will finish this race strong. And mockery, you have no place. And you got to come against that spirit of mockery because it comes with all kinds of mm -hmm. demons, not just mockery. It comes mm -hmm. with a whole list of stuff that you have to stand up. And all you got to do is stand up to it and everything yes. else just That's right. has to fall mm -hmm. like dominoes. Yes. Yes. Last so weekend, mm -hmm. one of my relatives came to the house, and all of a sudden, he just started latching out at me, just a typical mocking spirit. Who do you mm. think you are? None of this God stuff is going to work for you. Wow. You're worthless. <gasps> you know, you think anyone's going to listen uh, to you? And the he's door. Going, I'm, I'm going, yeah. first what <laughs> is this? And he started bringing up past, you know, 50 years ago and so forth, and you know, I just got joyous because I knew I was dealing with a mocking spirit. Yes, yeah. yeah. Wow. Mocking and the I things of God. Up, I walked up to him and smiled in his face <laughs> <laughs> and said, you lying, mocking spirit, you get Ooh. off of this man right now. I mean, he practically melted in front of me. Wow. And he started Jesus. to laugh. I, I knew yeah. it was a really nervous laugh and just just completely stopped him. Wow. Well, he's a you know, huge man, and he was on a roll. Wow. Yeah. So mm. we just have to take the authority yes. yeah. that God has mm -hmm. given and us. And it says and it when you take authority over mocking, you can't rebuke the person. Because mm -hmm. right yeah. here it says, whoever mocks and bites yep. insult, whoever rebukes a wicked man incurs abuse, do not rebuke a mocker or he will hate you. Mm -hmm. Rebuke a wise man and he will love you. Mm -hmm. Instruct a wise man and he will be wiser still. Yeah. Teach a righteous man and he will add to his learning. But yeah. what she's saying, we rebuke that spirit. Exactly. We rebuke that spirit because God, that's right. Because yeah. of, and, yes. and of course, God was telling her to do that. But right. there's sometimes if we do it, 
it's going to make a matter worse, but we do take authority over that spirit. We never allow people to disrespect us, especially in our home, on our turf, on our territory. Yeah, you know, I agree. Ever. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We know uh -huh. who we are. Amen. We, we know. are yes. the righteousness. We are. That's right. We, we are. are more than mm -hmm. conquerors. Right. That's we right. We can do all things through, through Christ. Christ. That's right. All <laughs> things have passed away. Yes, yes, there's been problems. You know, in all of our lives, we've fallen short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you get born again, you are a new creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The past through it. That's yeah. right. Amen. And if you, born again. Amen. And if you're watching this and you've bought into the lies of the demonic kingdom yeah. and have come into mm -hmm. agreement mm -hmm. with them, it's time for you to rise up and to take yeah. back yeah. what has been stolen right. from you. Um, just speak the opposite, like we've all said. Speak the opposite of what the mocking spirit has spoken over you. And like Lana did, you know, you can rebuke it out of your life. You have authority over That's your right. life. And mm -hmm. um, the first thing you really need to do is just speak what God says about you and then start changing your thought. Don't agree with it. Don't allow mm -hmm. it to come into your thoughts. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you can say something and your thoughts are still thinking it and it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So you have to change your way of speaking, right. change your way of thinking. Do not agree with it. Mm -hmm. And watch. It says in the word, it says, resist the devil and he will flee. He's going to give up if you keep trying. Um, if he keeps if he keeps trying and you keep going against it and say, no, I'm not going to allow it. I'm going to speak the opposite every Amen. time. That's right. He's going to get tired. Amen. He's going to see, oh, wow. Okay, yeah. I and have bullies no bullies are the biggest mockers. Yes. They yes. keep mocking those That's kids. That's right. And even, even a, a, you know, kids can be so cruel. You oh, know, they'll yeah. see a little kid riding your bike and they fall oh, off constantly. So all like, <laughs> <laughs> right. You never ride your bike. And it's just yeah. a mockery it to is. make that person mm -hmm. give up and not do what the kingdom has called them mm -hmm. to do. And that's why never let mockery diminish what heaven has for you. Yeah. Ever. Amen. How dare that's it. so good. How dare Amen. it. Yep. No, that's never. right. And you know what? Just as Lana did... Mm -hmm. when it was mm -hmm. right in her face, mm -hmm. took authority over yeah. that spirit and yeah. spoke to it and yeah. said, get out. You yes. have that get kind out. of authority and you have that kind you of right. You were nicer than me. I would have prayed. That's, yes. And you, you know what, Steph? Mm -hmm. He's going to get baptized Sunday. Wow. Oh, my wow. goodness. Yeah. Praise Set God. free. Because yeah. whom the Set sun free. sets free is free indeed. Uh -huh. And that's what, that's, you know what? I love that you walked in what the word tells, tells us, to, us do. to do. And you just went to that spirit and said, <laughs> get out. Get out, because that's not who I am, yep. and it's not who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love mm -hmm. that, and it and it says in Romans eight seventeen and eighteen, it says, if you're children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. And I love that because that's what I mean. You're joint heirs with Christ. Yes. We yeah. all are when we mm -hmm. receive Him, but it also says that we suffer with Him. And so some, I felt like somebody was thinking when I was reading the scripture, um, thinking to themselves, okay, if I know Jesus, how can this come against me? How can oh. this, but you know, we live in a fallen world yeah. Yeah. and right. people yes. have choices. There are demonic spirits and um, they have free roam, but they can't have you if you yeah. have Jesus Amen. and you have just as Lana shared and we've been sharing. And so it says that if so, mm -hmm. um, so be that we suffer mm -hmm. with him, that we may mm -hmm. also be glorified together. For I mm -hmm. reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Mm -hmm. And that's in Romans 8. And I love that because we are uh -huh. heirs of God. We're joint heirs mm -hmm. with Christ. Mm -hmm. So we have that authority. We can stand yes. up to it. We can stop it. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have to take it. Right. But at the same time, sometimes you think, how can this be? You know what? It happened to Christ. It says in Mark mm -hmm. 10, 34, and they shall mock him. Mm -hmm. They shall it's scorch him and they'll spit upon him. They'll kill him, mm -hmm. and on the third day, he will rise again. He will rise again. That's the victory we have. That's the victory we have. Now this man that you um, spoke to, mm -hmm. victory, he's getting yes. baptized. Yeah. So, well, and you know what? Paul, when yeah. that one that was following him, oh, these guys are preaching the, you know, yes. the Son of God, and he yeah. had to finally rebuke this yes. witchcraft. Mm -hmm. And because what Stephanie and everybody is saying, we have an authority. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, we are blood-bought. Mm -hmm. But if you leave a door open and you allow them yeah. to come in and play on your That's playground right. and be in your house or whatever, then it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, because you do say, well, how can I'm blood-bought? Well, you know, it happened to Paul, happened to Jesus, happened mm -hmm. to Stephen. All of these people in the Bible were mocked and ridiculed. But guess what? They took authority. Right. They took authority. Yes. Yep. And they did not tolerate 
any spirit to diminish, even Jesus himself when he went into the wilderness. And by the way, we always remind everybody, ourselves too, that the Holy Spirit drew him in there. When the devil that drew him into the wilderness right. place right. to have the, biggest, the, Holy yeah, the right. biggest boxing match of his life. Mm -hmm. But Jesus stood there the whole time and said, it is written, it is written yes. as, as Satan yes. mocked truth, him. Truth, and truth. I mean, hey, Jesus had to counteract. Mm -hmm. He had to fight back yeah. or he would have came out of there not in power or fame. It said mm -hmm. he came out in great fame. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, that was not Hollywood fame. That was fame known throughout the land <laughs> Amen. the power of That's heaven right. that the devil was kicked butt and defeated in that yes. desert. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what we're talking about. You have to do it. If Jesus himself had to fight the devil, yeah. And the demons, you do too. It's not like just we're born again and la, 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 nothing's ever going right. to happen because we're blood-bought. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. It's a fight. Then, then we could just say, why pray? Yeah. Why do anything? Mm -mm. Why do anything? You know? That's so good. No, we've got, to, we've got to do something. Mm -hmm. We live in a demonic world with demonic forces of hell, but the gates of hell cannot yeah. prevail mm -hmm. against us, mm -hmm. but we have to fight. Yeah. It's I mean, like I might as well not decree every day or do anything yeah. or say, you know, say, you mm -hmm. know, I mean, because I'm a decreer and I march the floor and I'm, I'm talking, you know, yeah. I'm speaking stuff all the mm -hmm. time. And because it works, the word mm -hmm. is active and sharper yes. than any That's double edged right. sword. It gives the Holy Spirit something to yes. breathe on, the poem, That's the right. very breath of God. When something is attacking you, he'll breathe on that word. And I've said it many times the devil's trying to pull you to the left, pull you to the right. Well, it doesn't right and left. <laughs> it's your, you're different. But, you know, trying to pull you well guess yeah. what all of those things that you have decreed and you spoke just like Jesus did in that wilderness all of those things the Holy Spirit breathes on and all of a sudden you're just pushed yeah. right into mm -hmm. the place you need right. to be you know? I'm happy you brought up though it being in your house though because I do yeah. feel like there's people watching who are the mockers and mm -hmm. um, yeah. because of that, mm -hmm. your children mm -hmm. are going to learn from you. Yes, yes. come on, Priscilla. And being bullied. I was going to go and there. It's so Glad important to stop yes. that because it becomes a generational mm -hmm. curse. Uh -huh. The familiar spirit mm -hmm. will visit your children, yeah. your grandchildren, your great grandchildren. Right. Right. And it is just a horrible mm -hmm. spirit. Nobody wants to be around a bully. No one likes no, bullies. No, no. So no. break it right now. And if you break it, it's going to cut off on your children. It's not going to be, it's not going to go passed down into them. They're going to be passed down blessings mm -hmm. and yeah. favor. That's and they're right. going to be yeah. joyful uh, people to be around. People That's are going right. to love being around them because no one wants to be around a bully. So break that off of you and your blood. Yes. Right right. Now yes. Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Good. You Good. know, uh, Billy Graham went to Marilyn Monroe. And it was actually two really? weeks before yes. she died. You know, yeah. I just Remember read this. on that and they yes, said it's a too. myth. It is not true. Really? They said that when Billy Graham never visited Marilyn Monroe. And they oh, said man. that. And she's like, oh. Oh. Yeah. And they said I the guy, I just that said too. that's why I didn't want her to say it unless, you know, because yeah. I just. And they said another big myth was that the Titanic guy said even God couldn't uh, sink oh. the ship. They said one of the ship hands did and it got all over the place. But he said oh. the guy who built that ship never said that. Okay, that's good. Okay. Clear that's yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. But, yeah. but there are things, and there was about five other people that had not said mm -hmm. what was clear. Claimed to be said, and they said Billy Graham never visited Marilyn Monroe. But I anyways, wanted to gossip. And I do darn it. it. <laughs> darn it. Yeah, I just said no. I just found this out, though. I believed it all these oh, years. Wow. I thought it was real. I right. thought the thing that John Lennon said was real. That was another yeah. myth. Yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. No, that was not a myth. Yeah. Did you he see it? He said it. I heard him. You so heard him right yeah. out of his mouth? Oh, what did I he remember say? remember in those days yeah. when, when it, yes. What was it that he said? Well, uh, God, he said he's that bigger than God. Christianity yeah. will end, Christianity will disappear, and then, and then he said that Jesus was, uh, um, oh gosh, what, what I'm talking that? about, Wait, they he said, God, he, I'm bigger than yeah. God. Oh, yeah. He That's said, a, but we Beatles are more famous than Jesus That is Christ. mocking. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I do, I do know they said mm -hmm. that, but there were some quotes that he did not say that was in Maybe this. Maybe so. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I did hear that he became mm -hmm. a Christian. So well, I, I don't know, but he I did hope, say that. I hope he so did too. say what you said. Mm -hmm. I hope so and, too. Uh, and, and, God but, will not be mocked. All of those people that said this is what mm -hmm. we're talking mm -hmm. about. Um, what we're talking about. But how do you about? know that that was Mocking so concrete? Mm -hmm. Who was it that said that that was not the truth? Um, okay. Oh, I, oh, I, I don't know what's it. going on right now, but anyways. <laughs> okay. um, Your mic was messed up. It's fine. Oh, it's messed it's up. It's good. Okay. It's good now. All right. I know okay. what he was saying. He was holding up a, uh, holding up a flag. 
And, uh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, you know what, we're just going to say goodbye for today because we're, you know, we can um, talk about Jesus a little yeah, uh, more. Talk about yeah, and, and, oh. And, oh, oh. <laughs> but anyways, you know, I, I got a text from someone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But if, in the if, audience yeah. that said they mocked Jesus on the cross, one of the biggest oh, things that we yes. did. Oh, they that, sure did. Oh, that my we did goodness. not. We thank did. you oh, for the guy in the yes, Thank you for the so guy in the awesome. audience. Yes. He goes, look at your text. Yeah. And it says they mocked Powerful. Jesus on the cross. They sure and they did. told him he was if he was God, if bring he were God, they made a question yes. who he was. Wow, what a good yes. one! Thank you for the Powerful. audience. And actually, that was my husband. So was. proud of him. His authority. So, yep. Yes, his authority. Every, really, yes. that's a good one. They that did. That's a very yeah. good one. But anyways, listen, if you don't know him, I, I'd quit mocking him today and I'd bring me your life because there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, That's right. But, you know, he loves you. He really does. Yes. And he's a God. It says, and I don't think none of us quoted this scripture, but it says, God will not be mocked. mocked. Amen. And uh, whatsoever a man soweth, he shall reap. Yeah. And if you're sowing that, um, and, and that's what that scripture is all about. If you're sowing mockery, mockery is going to come back to you. And, you know, even maybe you've been in a setting to where you, uh, you know, just kind of jokingly saying something cruel to somebody. Yep. Yep. And, and in your heart, because out of the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth, mouth speaks, speaks. you really good. do mean it. Yeah. But it isn't, it, you're mocking that person. That's right. And what they're doing. And so today, let's all just change if we've been like that. You know, sometimes we do things like that and we really think we don't mean it, but the heart is more wicked, it says, than, than yeah. anything. We sometimes don't even know how evil we can be, mm. how mean we can be. We don't mean to be. But if God is showing you that today, just repent. Come on, mm -hmm. just repent. I mean, I'm saying, God, right now, I repent for any known or unknown yeah. sin. I repent uh -huh. for any mockery, God. I mean, and I just pray for everybody else that they can just repent from any kind of mockery. Because yes. yes. all of us has been there, done it, and mm. maybe in some kind of form. Mm. But really, mm. I don't want to mock anybody or mock God or mock what he's called them to be yeah. because I want to be people's biggest cheerleader. That's right. To see them yep. be everything God died Amen. for them to be. And I want to see you know him today. So please ask him into your life. He died on a cross. He rose again. He's real. Listen, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Jesus is real. I tried everything, Harvard Christian, all that stuff. And when I got Jesus, man, mm. the power hit me and I've never been the same. Mm -hmm. And you will never be the same because he's the only way, truth, and life. Uh, the, the, hey, listen, the, the hell is not a party. People have told you it's a party. Mm -hmm. It's horrible and yep. it's yes. eternal. That's right. It's eternal. You'll, you'll be in torment eternally. Yeah. And some of the people said that have died and went to hell and then God gave them a second chance. They said the worst thing was there was just no hope. There was just no hope. There was nothing down there. You're just mm. hopeless. And that's so scary. He loves you. So ask him, come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Forgive me of my sin. I want to know you, and I want you to be my Lord, and I want to take this journey, and I want to come to heaven eternally. And if you did that, mm -hmm. call 307-637-PRAY. That's 7729. And then ask Jesus to baptize you in the Holy Spirit and with fire because he's the baptizer of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, it'll he'll come in baptize you. It'll give you the power to walk out what you just did and receive in Jesus. And it'll bring in a prayer language that you'll never be the same. It will move mountains on That's your behalf. Right. Mm -hmm. Please go to God's View TV Shows dot com. Get this wonderful anointing oil. Help us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Remember, God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. We love you. It's only goodbye for today. Thank you again for joining us. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View.